It's Qatar National Day and this year we celebrate with a major twist. A top Qatari official says the World Cup has changed global perceptions of Arabs and the Middle East region. Band tents used at the tournament will now be utilized for refugees. And finally, everything's on the line tonight as defending champions France take on Argentina in the World Cup final. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. It's December 18th, which means it's Qatar National Day, but this year's celebrations come with a twist as it coincides with the final of the 2022 FIFA World Cup and it's come around full circle. December is an exciting month for Qatar as it was in this month 12 years ago when the Gulf state was announced as the host of the prestigious tournament. Earlier today, a stunning air show decorated the skies about Lucille Boulevard, just a stone's throw away from the stadium where the final is being held. Qatar's World Cup chief Hassan Al Thawadi has stated that the Gulf nation's hosting of the FIFA World Cup has changed global perceptions of Qatar as well as the wider Arab region. Qatar became the first country in the Middle East to ever host the showpiece event. Though around the world, many appeared to show reservations on whether it could handle the global tournament. But after engaging with the Qatari and Arab community, fans from around the world have walked away with a different opinion and view. Thawadi also stated that the World Cup, quote, allowed us to showcase the best in us. Now, tents used at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar to serve visiting fans will be really located to and used by refugees in war-torn nations such as Syria and Yemen, as well as poverty-stricken areas of Turkey. Around 27 tents are set to be utilized. Some will be used as classrooms as well as shelter for people in need. And finally, tonight's the night everyone's been waiting for as Argentina are set to take on defending champions Fran take home the biggest prize in the footballing world, the FIFA World Cup. Tonight's final is the last chance for Argentina's stalwarts such as Lionel Messi, Angel Di Maria and co to win the coveted trophy as Messi especially has announced that this will be his last match for Argentina. For France, it is a chance to make history and become back-to-back -back world champions. History is on the line tonight and we'll all be a part of it no matter what. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.